Hey, welcome back everyone. I am Matt Larson and on Monday a Libertarian magazine Reason published a news article that was interviewing Senator Ted Cruz from Texas. In this article, Ted Cruz basically states that he believes President Obama is hurting liberty by not enforcing federal drug laws in the state of Colorado. And it seems like it's out of character for someone like Ted Cruz, who's a strong advocate for smaller limited government, to be pushing more of these federal laws on the American people. Now, if his personal view comes into play and says, you know what, I really don't think that uh, drugs should be illegal, uh, but we need to enforce the federal law, it still doesn't really matter because what you are saying is I understand these people vote in the state of Colorado to legalize marijuana, but damn it, I still want the federal law to supersede your state law. It just doesn't work. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't push for smaller government, but then enforce a federal law, even though you might not agree with that federal law, but just because it's on the books that you're going to take your own opinion out of it and enforce it. It doesn't work that way. And the second story that I want to talk about was the Super Bowl commercial that was put on by Coke. Wow. Um, let's just say a lot of people that were on my friends list on Facebook might not be there anymore from their reaction after I read this. Uh, I didn't actually get to see the Super Bowl commercials. I was over in Germany watching the game, uh, so I never got to see any of the American commercials. But man, the hype on Facebook from this was insane. And today I actually took the time to watch it. And I'm kind of saddened that there are still people like this out there in the world that are upset about America the Beautiful being sung in multiple languages. English is not the, I guess, the commercial language for America. We do not have an actual legal definition language for America. Do you know how in Germany it would be German? Do you know how in England it would be English? But in America, we're kind of a melting pot. We're kind of just this large group of people from diverse countries coming together and making America. And that's what makes America so great. So to see people saying, oh man, I'm never gonna drink Coke again, Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. You know what? It's sad that people are like that still and that because something that they might not understand, which is other languages, and just because they can't understand them, they think it's wrong and everybody needs to be speaking English in America. And you know what? I do think speaking English in America is an advantage to you because it is harder for someone that can only speak Spanish or another language out there to get a job in America. So yes, would I like to see everyone speak English in America? Yeah, I would like to be able to hold a conversation with any person I walk down the street. But at the same time, it kind of shows how lacking America is in diversity. If when I'm over in Germany, uh, I hear multiple languages going down the street all the time and I can all of a sudden, if I'm stopping someone because I'm lost in any directions and they start speaking German to me, they can automatically, 90% of the time, I've always ran into this where they can switch over to English. So it almost shows America has a lack of interest to help diversify their language knowledge a little bit. And it kind of shows how closed-minded we are sometimes. So I want to know what are your guys' thoughts on the two stories I talked about today. First of all, Senator Ted Cruz talking about how he wants Obama to enforce the federal laws and regulations on the state of Colorado. And second of all, the Coke commercial. What are your thoughts on that? Leave your answer in a text or video response down below. I ask that you guys please thumbs up this video, share it with friends and family. If you're new to my videos, make sure you click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the current political news. As always, I'm Matt Larson. Go around Paul. Peace.